Hello fellow wormheads, uh, this is Steve giving you a sneak peek into my uh, worm in Mega and uh, what's been going on with this uh, bin. I've actually been going on with this particular Mega for uh, going on a year. Uh, I just wasn't able to get into the gardening like I wanted to but I kept my worm bin going. So here I'm going to just show you what my populations are like and uh, you can kind of see that uh, the things are moving along quite nicely I'm gonna be actually uh, doing a feeding right now and I do uh, what I call a sandwich method you can see things are absolutely loaded uh, with the worm populations here uh, and it's because of what I like I just mentioned uh, uh, what I call a sandwich method uh, I'll go ahead and uh, use quite a bit of bedding and uh, I'll put it actually beneath uh, the food waste that I'm going to apply. And you can see I just have oodles and oodles and oodles of uh, worms and these by the way are the African night crawlers and uh, the thing that makes things really successful is I use a large quantity of uh, bedding and um, and you can also, if you look closely, you can see they're also loaded with springtails in here too. Uh, and it seems like the more bedding that I use, the more successful I am in, uh, in my work here. Again, another place in the bin here. Yeah, you really can't beat the way things are here. Uh, what I'm doing here... Is basically moving things around a bit. A little bit more elaborate than other feedings that are done. Holy camoly. But basically, uh, let's have another close up look there. They've uh, pretty much cleaned up the food waste that I've had in there. So now this is all, this is a completely new feeding that I'm doing here. By a, by a sandwich method, what I mean is I have worms actually above and below uh, the food waste that I add. Uh, so I think that uh, speeds up the, the process a bit. Now that I've gone ahead and removed a portion of the worms, I'll just spread things around here just a bit, even things out little stickiness in my in my fingers here and what I'm going to do now is actually add the uh, more this is before I put the food waste in you can see I, I added some uh, shredded cardboard. I'll spread that all around the bin. Now after I've done that, I'll go ahead and add my food waste. In this case it's about oh probably about a good 15-20 pounds of material. Oh. Get somebody's uh glove in there it's like a, almost like a potato it's actually an avocado we'll spread that out a bit I actually go to a uh, juice store uh, it's actually uh, where they make organic juice and here you can see I have a nice um, assortment of the actually it's uh, juice pulp that is the kale, carrot, celery, a little bit of lemon, actually some you can see a little bit of apple here, and of course the avocado. And then all the worms that I had removed, I'm adding to the on top of the system. You see I got the uh, shredded paper and whatnot and so now you can see I have worms both below and above 
probably a good, uh, I'll say a good pound and a half or so on the top side. Now after done, I've done that, I'll go ahead, this is the winter time of the year, I'll add a little bit of a moisture. You can see I'm using the, I'll probably add about a half gallon of moisture here. That'll get things percolating a little bit. And of course this was actually tap water I let sit for about a day. Uh, so the uh, chlorine worked itself out. So now you can see I've got a little moisture on top. And then to finish things out, I'll add some dry material on top. Oh, I see something. I found something that I left in here. I was wondering what happened to that. Grandson might have something to do with that. So we put on a nice layer of the dry shredded cardboard and paper on top. And that'll, uh, of course, the worms will hit that dry material and they won't go up any further. All right, well that completes this feeding. And y'all keep on worm composting, my friends. And we'll see you down the road. This is Steve with Worm Kings. Bye for now.